Yo, 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 what's good, everybody, and welcome back to the beatmajors.net. Yo, so today, um, our focus is on, it's called, it's it's a tape stop effect, um, but before we get into that, yo, if this is your first time ever watching, or if you're not subscribed today, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and after you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button right after, that way, um, you don't miss any more tutorials or any more beats at all. Now that we got that out the way, let me go ahead and show you guys this effect or this trick, um, and, and so you can, you know, apply it to your beats. So I'm going to play this beat really quick. It's just a quick loop. This is just something I was working on. And I kind of wanted to just stop real quick as I was creating and just kind of show you guys how we do this effect. So let me show you really quick. All right. So pretty dope effect i know everybody likes to do that um and if you're one of those uh you know producers that don't know how to do it i'm about to show you so you're gonna need um a little plugin called effectrix and it's by sugar bites um if i'm not mistaken i think it's like uh, 20 bucks uh, if i'm not mistaken maybe more but i think i only paid 20 bucks at the time because it was on sale and what you're gonna do is you know you can you can put it on your master how i have it here um i just did this just to kind of um, get an idea of what I want to do with the track. Um, so I put on the master right here. Um, and then they have an effect. It's called vinyl. Vinyl, It's that's what it is. It's a tape stop. It's like a record vinyl uh, vinyl record stopping on a, on a turntable platter. So basically what you do is you would apply that effect. Um, you, you know, kind of, it's basically, this is like a step sequencer, just how basically FL is. Um, so what you do is already set the time. They have time, different time signatures here. Um, you need to play with those depending on what your tempo is. If it's at a higher tempo, it's going to be at a 1 16th, 1 1 32. Um, if it's at a slower tempo, it's probably going to be a 1 8th, 1 4th. Um, just depending on what your tempo is, just, you know, try it out. Try those different time signatures here. Um, and then um, basically you can start going from there. So you, you add it in by just clicking it in just like this. Um, you can delete it by right clicking it. Um, so I can take it back off or I can just click in this bar here and put it back on. So I'm going to show you kind of how I, how, how I uh, added this effect. So basically what you do is you get the track going. And as you can see, this thing is moving, like I said, just how FL is. It has a step sequence, just how FL is. And as it's going, you can see where you want your tape stop to hit at. So I wanted it to hit towards the end of the loop. Um, before the turnaround comes back around. So this is how I did it. I added that effect and then I right clicked on my knob, my uh, uh, my mix knob, and I hit con create automation clip, which brings up an automation clip like this. Um, if you don't know how to uh, do automation clips, I'll make a video on automation just to kind of show you guys how to set up automation properly. So I added an automation clip. Um, you know, I cut it off at the beginning and uh, I... Uh, added it i made it you know basically turn on it's at 100 percent up here so you know you this is how you, you do it like just right click make a make a spot make a you know a point and then i add a point basically from here and this is where this is basically where it's going to start at it's going to it's turning on at this point and then this is the peak and then once it comes back around it's off again so then until it gets to that last loop so as I was doing it, I did it like this. And as you can see, um, FL, it didn't affect the beat at all until that part of the automation clip hit. Um, that's how you control, you know, your effects without them um, interrupting the rest of the track is, you know, you use some automation. So hopefully this helped you guys, man. If I missed anything, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure I covered everything, at least the basics of it. Um, I can get more in depth later, but I just wanted to show you guys the basics of how to apply uh, a tape stop effect. Um, to your beat so hopefully you got some value out of this hopefully this helps you um in your future music production or future beats that you're going to be creating if you want to apply a, a tape stop effect so uh go check out sugar bites website 
grab that effect tricks. Like I said, it's probably only 20 bucks. You're not going to spend a lot at all. Go invest. And yeah, like I said, hope you guys got some value out of this. And until next time, guys, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you don't miss any tutorials. I'll see you guys later. Peace.